Hi, my name is Leslie Barringer and I'm part of the team here at Presentation Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to add impact to your presentation by using video in text and shapes. Research tells us that up to 83% of human learning is visual. So, rather than trying to share an idea or feeling using lots of words, use a visual. This video of the ocean is much more powerful and memorable than anything I could say. The effect takes just a few minutes to create and it isn't difficult to do, but it can make a real difference to your presentation. To give the effect of video inside the text, we're actually going to make a mask that sits in front of the video and lets the video show through. If I move on to the dark background slide, I can demonstrate this. So here we have a mask that sits in front of the video behind. OK, so let's get started. First, we need to add a new slide. We'll choose blank and then we need to add some text to the slide. And here you can add the text using either a text box or word art. I think we'll use a text box, type in the word water. Here we want to choose quite a chunky font because we want the video to show through later on and also we'll need a large font. So let's highlight the word. We'll choose Arial Black, which is a nice chunky font and start with 100. And we can go bigger still. And then adjust the text box to fit in the center. OK. What we're going to do now is insert a rectangle. So insert shapes, rectangle, and we're going to draw a rectangle. And it's going to be a mixture of this rectangle and the text that makes the mask. So now we need to send the rectangle to the back. Choose center back and now highlight water as well. So we've got the, uh, the rectangle sorry, and the word water highlighted. And you'll see we've got a whole set of formats and drawing tools. And we want to come over here where it says Merge Shapes and click, select Subtract. And now what PowerPoint has done, it's merged the two objects, the rectangle and the text, and it's actually cut out the text. So we've now created a mask which can sit nicely in front of the video. Let's leave that there. And what we now need to do is insert the all important video. So up here in the tab, we go to insert right along here to the right to video. And you'll see you get two choices. If I click on the top one online video, it will show that we can download a YouTube video or we can browse and we can use a video from a website. I don't find the YouTube videos very consistent and often they have adverts and um, extra things in there that we don't need. So what I tend to do is the other option, which is download video from my PC. So let's choose the video and insert. This is actually a free video that I downloaded and many of the sites that offer photographs and images for free download also offer the videos as well. So let's resize the video here and take it closer to the size of the word. You'll be able to adjust your video depending on what you want to show and where. Okay, and now as we did the rectangle, we can send the video to the back too. Center back. And there we have it. 
So we now have a mask, which is a rectangle with the word water cut out of it, sitting in front of the video, which gives us the effect of video in text. Now we can adjust to suit how we want it to look and what we're going to use it for. So if we click on the rectangle and it's highlighted, as you see, we can go to shape fill and choose from any of the colors available. Let's just choose the blue, dark blue for the moment. And you can see that the word water still has um, an outline. So if we don't want an outline, we can choose no outline, or of course we can make it stand out even more depending on what we want to do. Before we test what this looks like on slideshow, I just want to show you the options for playback for the video. So let's click on the video again till it's highlighted and you'll see up here now this has changed to video tools and we can choose playback. Here there's a little drop down which gives us the option to play the video. The video will start as we click through in sequence. We can choose automatically, which means as soon as you land on that slide, the video will start or you can select when clicked on, which means that you would actually have to click on the video to get it to start. So as an example, we'll choose automatically and then we'll go to the screen show. And as you can see, immediately the video is playing and we haven't had to click. So I use the same process to add the star mask. I added a star shape, then I added a rectangle. I sent the rectangle to the back, highlighted both shapes, chose merge shapes and selected subtract, which then gave me the mask that sits in front of the video. The last slide is a little different and isn't actually using a mask. Instead, it's using a PowerPoint icon that the video can sit nicely behind. If we move the icon to one side, we can reveal the video. The rectangular screen on this icon means that the video fits well without having to use a mask. I did crop the video slightly by using format up here. So video tools format to the right crop and you'll get the option to crop the video to the size that you need. Let's put the icon back over the video and there we have it. Using icons or images is another quick and easy way to add video to your presentation. So good luck whether you choose a mask, an icon or an image. And you can find our other videos here on YouTube or come and visit us at www.presentation-guru.com.